This program is brought to you by Dolku Media. Fixing South Sudan, ideas for the new nation. With award-winning journalist Madin Mor. Absolutely. Honorable Achim, as you can see, the ideas of the initiatives are varied. Fixing South Sudan, ideas for the new nation. Hello and welcome to Fixing South Sudan, your ideas for building the new nation. I am Madingor. This week, Miss World South Sudan 2017 takes the spotlight. How does she feel about her new crown? And what are her ideas for fixing South Sudan? Ms. Kristen Arwal Longar, welcome to Fixing South Sudan. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's a pleasure to welcome you to this program. The process was long and arduous, but congratulations. Thank you. You are the new Miss World South Sudan 2017. How do you feel about that? Um, I, I'm excited, honestly. Holding this crown on my head is like holding the whole nation, the whole world, and it, it feels so good. Uh, I didn't, I never imagined that this day would come for me, but it has come through God. So I'm grateful, and I'm, I'm so excited. I the day has come. You have the title, and a lot of responsibilities to do with it. Sure. What What is the good thing about having it? The good thing about having it is that you, you, you get to know a lot of people and you have responsibilities to carry out, as, as, as I said, holding this thing on my head, the crown on my head is like holding the whole nation. Like, I'm the voice of the voiceless, so I have to go out there and see what is wrong and what is happening around our country, and I have to raise it up. There were other contestants who wanted uh, to, to have the opportunity to be crowned Miss World South Sudan, but it's you. So uh, tell us about the process. How was it like? It, it was probably not easy. To be honest with you, it was really so difficult. I didn't even know that I was going to make it because competition was really high. A lot of beautiful girls, so confident, so intelligent but I manage, so. You manage. And so how long was it? And uh, tell me about your sleepless nights. What were you thinking? What, what gave you that hope that maybe it will be you? What gave me the hope was the faith in me. Because at first I said, I, I'm not doing this. Because, you know, our parents sometimes are so negative about this thing. But it is not what it is actually, what they think, our parents. So I had difficulties and I was like, oh, how am I going to tell my uncle that I'm going back to modeling industry because I tried once, but he wasn't happy with it. So I had to like leave it because I respect my family and I'm like, okay, let me do what makes them happy. But my passion for it kept on pushing me. Oh, well, you can do this. You can do this. Don't give up on your dream. So I decided. I saw the advertisement on Facebook. So I decided to go and I registered. I called my uncle and then I told him, but at first he wasn't so sure. But I said, oh, at least he's accepting it a bit. And then the following morning, he said, Arwal, you can do it. I was so happy and I did it. I said, I'm going to do it this time and I'll have to make him proud. And I'll have to show him that it is not what others think it is. So I went and I registered and then I met trainers and it was just good. And thank God through trainers I managed it. And it was so difficult for me because at first I was feeling like I was shy. I was really shy. Like how am I going to stand there? How am I going to give my speech? But you know I kept on practicing. Each day I'll come home. Uh, I'll go straight to, to, to the mirror 
and you know give my speech and I'll say I can do this I can do this I can do this so that's how I got the the, the encouragement and <clears throat> through my family also they were like oh, well, you can do this they encouraged me a lot so I managed what did you make of your fellow contestants you said there were a lot of beautiful girls intelligent ladies uh, what, what made it in the end? Why, why it became you? I think a victory is from above. Those girls who did not make it, they did not make it, not because they, they did not deserve it, but because I believe it was in their time. Because having the crown, it's like crowning the queen and the king, you know? And that one is just from above. It's like giving someone the responsibility to a certain thing. So I believe me being crowned is through God. And I believe they still have a lot of chances out there and they can be someone or they can do what they want to be still. So I would want to tell them also not to give up on their dreams. I contested in 2012 and I lost. I wasn't even in top 10, but I'm here today. So to my fellow sisters who did not make it, don't give up on your dreams. You can be here one day. You mentioned something important. You said it is the passion that carried you through. And why are you passionate about this? You said it's your dream. Uh, so what does the dream represent for you? All I mean, the, the thing is, when I grew up, my, my, my mom's sister used to model back in the days. And she once won in, in Eldoret, Kenya. So I was told like, oh, your auntie won. So I grew up with this passion like one day I'm going to be a supermodel. I want to be a supermodel. It's something I just love. You know, when I'm on the stage, I love enjoying it. So it's my dream to, to be here. This is like, I feel like I've achieved it, you know. And I feel so grateful that my dream, I did not sit on it. I actually did it and I'm here today. Tell us a bit about yourself. We know you are Christine Arwal Longar, and we don't know much. The nation doesn't know much about you. <laughs> okay. I'm Christine Arwal Longar, as you said. I'm the second born in my family. The first girl, my elder brother, is there. And all of us, we are six from my mother. I'm a first year student at Stafford International University. Here in Juba. Yeah, yeah, here in Juba. Yeah, the College of Management Science, majoring in human resource management. Okay, what do you think best describes you? If we say who is Arwal, what would you say? I would say Arwal is this faithful girl who is patient and ambitious and determined and focused about what she wants achieve in life okay ambitious and ambition comes brings us to the point of this discussion ideas for fixing South Sudan so you have the burden of the title and what do you want to do with the title what I want to do with the title I want to to encourage the young girls and women out there and even empower them because they are able to those who are <coughs> denied the right of going to school, they have every opportunity, and our parents should just allow them to go out there and be educated, because education is so important in our lives today. And also, I want to create an awareness about certain diseases that could be within our country, but no one is aware of, like let's say breast cancer, hepatitis B, these are all deadly diseases. So I want to create an awareness, and at least for women and young girls, for them to go out there and do checkup at least ever after six months, because it's important. Because breast cancer, once you have it and it's too late, it cannot be treated. So yeah. So it is a platform. Yeah. yeah. And how much recognition are you getting in the few days that you have been Miss World, uh, South Sudan, 2017? How much recognition are you getting? Yeah. Uh, not much, but being here, I'll be recognized today, and I was in SSBC. And I know I'm still going there, because I'm not going to have the, the, the crown and sit down, because this is 
it means like I have to do something, like I have to be so active in my nation, you know, and bring up the ideas and share with people disabled, like, you know, minorities and everyone in my nation, because I also love people. I have this passion for my nation. I love my country and whatever it takes. If I have powers, I believe. I do not so much, but I believe I have a voice so I can speak for the voices. For the voiceless, you will also be a role model for, <laughs> yeah, for, for, young, for young ladies. Yeah. And what would that represent for you? It's what, what does that mean? Because it's, it's a lot of responsibility. It's, it, it goes beyond the title. It goes beyond the beauty. It requires that you carry yourself in a certain way to be a role model, to inspire people with uh, your position, to project authority. So don't you say at some point, maybe what I have signed up for, what I have signed up for, it may not be the right thing after all, or you say, this is it and I love it. I say this is it and I love it because a role of last week, a role of Saturday is not a role of today. I've always wanted to be the voice. I've always wanted to, to, to be here, but I did not have the chance. But now that I have the chance here, I feel so good. I feel so good that I can be here and I can be out there motivating the youth even, the youth of our nation, and motivating the young girls especially that they can do it. Sometimes they have doubts about themselves that oh, we cannot do this, we cannot do this. Some people are, or some young ladies are brainwashed that, you know, because they are women, they cannot go there. But that's not right. Women have equal rights you know, in every nation. And gone are the days when we were just put there in the houses, just, you know, for, 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 I mean, like, we were just put there just to cook, to, to be married off, and that's it. But now we have to be in it. We have to go to school, we have to be educated, and we have to do both. We have to go to work, we have to put something on the table, like both of us. Putting something on the table. Why don't we stop by the table for now and take a break? Welcome to Dolco Media Services. We have so many services for you such as video production, camera hiring, sound system hiring, event management, passport photo, stand-up comedy, painting, drama, music, dance, multimedia, and photography. Dolco Media Services, our culture, our pride. Welcome back to Fixing South Sudan, your ideas for building the new nation. I am Madingor. With us is Miss World South Sudan, 2017, Miss Christine Arwal Longa. We are welcoming her back and we are talking about her vision for South Sudan. You want to be a role model, you want to be a voice of the voiceless, and so much more. And you mentioned some of the causes that you like to stand up for or give voice to breast cancer. Uh, you're saying it's a big issue as much as people don't talk about it. And you have the young ladies out there, which was a point that we were touching. And you said that this is a new age for women, where women can do more than the traditional chores that people expected. So uh, the issue of girl-child education is a very important thing that people talk about. Is it one of the things you are passionate about? What other things would you like to see done within that one year? Because it's only one year that you have. I really want our parents <clears throat> to allow us to go to school, especially, and all also to stop these early marriages, because it actually denies the young girls the right of having a bright future, a brighter future. You know, because if you allow them to go to school they will be able to take care of themselves and they will know what they want. But when you take them to, 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 to when you marry them off, that, that, that just kills their future and they, they, they will live a miserable life. For example, our mothers, our mothers suffered a lot. Why? Because they were denied the right of going to school and rather they were just forced to, to, to get married. You know? 
So that thing is so difficult. And that was back in the days. They would go for cultivation and all that. But these days, there's nothing like that. So they have every right to go to school and build their future. There's usually a gap between advocacy, speaking about something, and actually implementing some projects. Uh, so is yours about uh, giving your voice to something? Is it about raising an awareness? Or would you hope at some point to actually implement some projects that you will see it was Ms. Wells in 2017 that made them happen? Yeah, I would, I would love to, to do that. I would love to do something big for my nation if I have the opportunity to do it. If I'm given the opportunity, I have the opportunity. But through the support of our nation as well, I can do something great for my nation, not only to girl child education, or, or not only even to create an awareness. Greater things are there to, 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 to bring up our nation. It's a newborn nation, and I see a lot of young, talented, and educated men out there. So I believe we can do something bigger. How much support is the organization that brought you up, that organized this event, providing to you? Are they creating an office for you or lobbying certain institutions? for you to make sure that you succeed? Well, uh, this office, I'm going to work with them. I have a project for one year. And I believe they, that, that, that will pave a way for me to get away with my desires for my nation. OK. So what's next for you? You have the title, and you're making some interviews. What's, what's next for you? Oh, the next thing now, I'll be leaving shortly, like in... I mean, as far as the, getting the title, and then you have to probably sit down and reflect on some of the things that you would like to do and how to accomplish them, because that's a very important point. Well, I'll have to... My plan is get my project done, draft it, present it, and start working. Certain proposals. Yes. And Can I ask you a wild question? What do you think of South Sudan as a country? South Sudan is a beautiful nation that is so rich. You know, it's, it's, it's naturally beautiful and it's rich, fertile. It's a great nation. I believe South Sudan has whatever it takes to be a great nation. Can this crown fix South Sudan? Because the show is fixing South Sudan. This crown, what can it do to fix South Sudan? It, it can fix South Sudan by sending out my voice there <clears throat> to, to whoever that will listen to every child of South Sudanese, to our fathers, our mothers, to educate our children, and even those who are moving on the street there. These people or those kids are the future. They are the seed of this nation. Five years, let's say, 25 years to come later, 50 years to come later, 30 years to come later, they are the ones who are going to be in power. So we will not be here, but they will be here. So they are the seed of this nation. And for our nation to be powerful, education has to be put there. The children have to be, I mean, the children have to be educated. Like everyone, not only girls, both girls and boys. Because when they go to school there, I see, like, I've been, I'm a student, right? We compete in class with boys, and that's really good. That's, that's a gr great vision for, for our nation. So we need to make it together. We need to build our nation together, there's both a, girls and boys. There's a stereotype that uh, people or the society has about uh, beauty pageants. They think beyond beauty, there's nothing they should not be taken seriously. Should you be taken seriously? I should be taken seriously because I'm sending out the voice there and most of the people think of oh, beauty purging uh, is something bad, you know. They think or something it's, not serious. Yeah, they Just think beautiful. it's something not serious. But it is something important because as you can see me with the crown here, I'll be going to China and if I win it, it will be an honor of this nation. It will give our nation pride. You know, so they shouldn't take it. I don't know why they take it, but but they shouldn't take it that way. You know, beauty pageant is a celebration of beauty. You know, 
and it gives us confidence as women. We feel good our, about ourselves, and we appreciate our nature. So, so when I ask about what's next, part of what is coming up is you going to represent us then in China. Mm -hmm. That's correct? Yeah. That must be a big deal. It is. It is indeed a big deal, and I would love our our government and South Sudan at large to support me while going there because it's going to be a difficult thing. It will be hard and I'll, I'll appreciate. Most of our audience don't know about that kind of event. So it's a bigger contest. Yes, it is. With many, many countries many, around many the countries world. Many, many countries around the world. And with probably a bigger prize to win. Yeah. Are you hopeful or do you say maybe I'll just you know, give it a try, but I'm not sure. Well, one thing I know about myself is that what I want, I always go for it. I'm not going to China to lose, because I know that those girls are coming to compete. I haven't seen them, they haven't seen me, but what I know is that when we meet, I know we are going there to compete, and one of us has to take the crown. And that will be you? Inshallah. And yes. South Sudan will be proud? Okay. So, what, what does the crown represent for you, uh, I mean, what is the price that you won as a result of having been Miss South Sudan? Well, uh, the price that uh, I won the pride, mm. and me being here is an honor, and it's You won the this. pride. The price is the pride that you are getting. That's interesting. Yeah, the pride, and to be here is such an honor, you know. That girls out there who wish to be here but they are not here so having the the crown is an important thing and I'm I'm so honored and I'm grateful and uh, what has it made impact in your family the way they were thinking about uh, beauty pageants and what uh, the result of, of that event that they thought was not serious how are they thinking differently my family yeah, it has brought an impact because right now they are so much proud and they are very happy because they feel like, yes, I've done it and it's such a big thing to them. At first they thought like it was just something cheap and something not serious. But when they, I, I called all of them, I told them I'm contesting and they, they all came. Unfortunately, my mother couldn't have made it because she's in Twitch and she's busy. And, but uh, I'm happy I made it and she was told. But the rest of my family were all there and they were so happy. And right now, they're really, really happy. And I'm, I'm, I'm so much sure that if my little sister or any of the family member says one day he or she wants to contest, they will definitely allow her. So it's an, uh, it's, it's, it's an honor and it's an advantage even to young girls and to some parents who refuse their girls to come and attend them. Tell us one good idea you have for fixing South Sudan. If that idea is implemented, you think South Sudan will be a better place? If we preach peace, love, and unity, and avoid tribalism in our nation, we will stand together and we will be so strong. Thanks for coming to Fixing South Sudan. Can you say, Fixing South Sudan, ideas for the new nation? Fixing South Sudan, ideas for the new nation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.